But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. What do you see? Last chance to surrender on Orthodox books. captain of this ship. Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skelliger. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more, but truth be told, not much more. Well, did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's butt. No leading our lasses astray, scum. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skelliger bound. Ne Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the Golden Sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows.
Kristen, captain of the Atropod. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverstone? I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here, that enough? sack like a bowls not sure you're ready you can barely stand know this stranger captain wolverston never sails so so ready to sit let's go uh, first we must drink to the wind to good fortune and to the strength of my atropos Back off, or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afeard of dying. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who, exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack. Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. 
What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a win should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. What's your name? Stangrim. Well, Stangrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. Had enough? <sighs> Best finish me now. Cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. It was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. of power, it's gotta be.
Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them. of power. Slow now. I play today. Who you have for me? Ah! King's passing. Hmm.
You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You smell wonderful. Geralt, we're at a funeral. You smell wonderful at this funeral. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Haven't seen each other in two years. I want a solitary cottage by the sea. I want to lock myself inside with you. Stay there for a week. What would we do there for a week? Got so many ideas. The one with the rope you use for trophies. That one seems interesting. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. 
Must have recovered because this Baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Siri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Siri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. Guess our solitary hut will have to wait. Crack on crate someone we want on our side. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go, choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay I draw closer to bankruptcy. Uh-huh. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then. What am I to do now? Ow. Come on, Here. trim it. It's got to be see ready in time for the funeral. A crack and send us. Sacrificed me best mare. Ooh! Of course, an honor. We're good and true here. May she serve our king worthily. 
One day we. Ah! Oh, really? Ryan again? Ran of Clan Twisak, <sighs> our valiant king. I oh, yeah. welcome. Yeah. Watch your step, Glory oh, and I honor range every which way. We offer you our. Your pot differs on the card. I want to fight. Ready to fight any time. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? It's about my Erica. See her? I... I got to win today. She's watched. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking... Listen. If I lose on purpose, we'll both regret it. Believe me. But it's Erica we're talking about. You don't understand a thing. Enough of this chatter. Who's that? You seal fart. Ha! Keep together! You're good. Real good. Didn't even break a sweat. There's some lead at the tower. And suddenly this. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space. And the luxury. Not something I'd ever wear, but what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Hung there half a day before they got him down. They're always saying to me, hanging something we dare in a box. The guild of me. Maybe he 
she's looking to get hired on a ship. Let us pay homage to Bran of Mountwissing. May our little Norgan's birthday the Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no- Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese, or wagons. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lugus, Madman Lugus' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go!
We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. No cheating, eh? One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. And it likely happen to any of us. Enough of the natter and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. Well, if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. What did you say in the beast scissors? Tell me, Lugos. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than... Let him sail over here. We ain't... Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some diversion. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. And suddenly this. Nice. 
Had enough? Ah, uh, oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's mo No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Here's to our next. No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. Yo land rats are all the same. The fear do you wench it. Where'd you hear this? What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it, Ermion won't be there. That's right. And We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. This will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come. There's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic.
render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Looks alive. A hundred loose an arrow if you saw that in the woods. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Yes? Ah! Are you alright? Cut myself. The door's locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out! Monsters. I can feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. That's one less. That's one less. That's one less. Strange. Smells of mushrooms in here. No. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Mind if we, uh, never mention this again? Naturally. Doors open. We'll proceed as soon as you've collected trophies of your kills. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Gallagher's tales about the wild hunt. The I wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Goes oh, in for light reading, know. too. The Raymond Corpse of Marlow. Novigrad by Sasha Hardy. Biography enhanced. A goat carved out of lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Statue's hand looks like it should be holding something. Child's skull.
Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm, guess you're no indecisive prince. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. Need something else. Gotta look around. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Dwarven Triple Mead. Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? This is it. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before... Careful now. That's that! It's a trap. We're imprisoned. Hear that? Smelled it. Gas. Grate still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Yes? The damned druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. dress. Wait a minute, I must mend it. You know how to sew. Please. 
I'll enchant a needle. Wait. For what? We must talk to Krach. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> when are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. My, oh my. I missed you. I missed you too. We ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Turn around. Crack and Create asked about you. We went out. For a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her on. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. What? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ord Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms. Right on natural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Unfold! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot.
I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalmar? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. Whereas Ceres announced that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on- Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of clan Tordorach here on Artsgelig. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plan. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I take you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krach. I will see you later. words.
seen a continental here <coughs> in a long while. Who made that? Take a gander. Thank you. 
Show me what you got.
woman. Mad, I say. Maybe. Where but are I you got good for? reason. of Urberus is no trifle. Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea of the... Yes. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. When the sea learnt of the mask, and was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. On the one hand, a theft. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate result. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Quickly! Follow me! The storm, damn it. Come on! Was that unicorns? Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past. But only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see... 
Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until you've seen it. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. Show me what you got. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. On the mask. Watch out! What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Well, ready? Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. The mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence maybe, but... She claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. And I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? 
We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded, but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. In the vision, he went flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? The but why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. <sighs> Tis true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts. Killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> You also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on this floor. But if I remember correctly, Lofferton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Grit. Hun. They barely what if Craven told them? Ah! Get in the grind, they lie. Leith, son of Eric. Perished in Gro. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is... <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Did you see riders on skeleton horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. 
You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. I ran out. To get help. To get Leif. But so many bodies. Yale. Ingvar. Little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea. Through the ravine. On horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. We're looking for a young woman. Name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska... Craven! My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of Ansa. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your cut. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkva. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvar. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant... Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I'd speak with Toridar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due.
Morgan. Drink last night too. You're a you dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keel haul you. Got a minute? Got bigger game in mind. Ah, oh, so them's your apples. A right ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dang breath. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage and so on. But you just... I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Let's go!
worried this trail might have gone cold. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Fade. Fade. <coughs> Shank! Not, not again! Not again! He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. I thought you wanted to start at the tree. Let's do what we came for and leave. Can't say I like this place. <laughs> Profusely. Trail's clear. Should lead me to him. Victims. Strange. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. What is it? To transform into a werewolf. It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse confined him to this garden? Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. Just wolfing things down, or not. Geralt, that's enough. Hmm. Fine. Still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. 
We'll say you won. What do you know about this garden? Let me think. That it's dreadfully overgrown? Had its history in mind. They say Freya herself planted it. When the world was young, the goddess strode across Skellige, sowing seeds among the rocks. All her seeds poured from it and landed here. You believe that? I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh-huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because... Because... No bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you? Zeracanian cuisine, dandelion's fame, and shoes with curly toes seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time? I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. All right, going back down. Be careful. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Prince, Craven trod carefully. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around, and attacked. Craven was injured, started running. These prints should lead me to Craven, or his body. 
Claw marks. Craven slammed the door in Morkvarg's face. Did you find something? A trail leads right to a locked door. I think you can get around it. Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. <sighs> Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Morkvarg doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Through this door, must have smelled something beyond it. Craven's blood. Roots. So I'm right under Yen. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. Found him. An? 
land? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen. Charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Ugh. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends w I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Ciri is in danger? I like that even less. Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethic. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and... Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes. I'm not poking holes. Just thinking about the consequences. No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Ciri is short on time. Hmm. Fine. Selene, 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 Davidar. Are you craven of Lofferton? No, I... You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman. Ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! 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 She fell! Ziri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skia. But... We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Help... Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. 
Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. What? Why is... Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. Shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. That man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. in a towel. Well, whatever makes you comfortable. Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine. Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. But why have you got the towel, child? It'll just get wet. Mum, she's from the continent. She's shy. I'm not at all shy. I just wanted something to sit on. Hmm. Expect me to believe that? Astrid, behave yourself, or I'll send you to gut fish with your pa. Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, back home. Have you got saunas too? I'd rather not talk about myself. Why is that? Someone might come looking for me. I wouldn't want to cause you any trouble. It's too late for Skial. What? He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you- Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Well, he seems nice. Oh. oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. Child, Skjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I suppose. Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey.
Storms are coming. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <laughs> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can... What was that? The Wild Hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go!
What became of that creature? Where is he? Stop! <laughs> what? I saw him. And... To whom? Be gone. Be gone, I say. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my mad... Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Nice of you to be so concerned for the corpse. Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Why could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to our... Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in Europe. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you, sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Scal saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Valen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed. You must go and get the creature. I don't know. Buy him. Kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think, is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. Didn't learn much, though Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. Can we do this later? Sorry, need to take care of something. Well, if you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. 
After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. Ciri is our concern, ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Being awfully loyal to your patron. He's your patron as well, dear. Don't forget that. I refuse. Don't have the slightest intention of re- Fine. I can't force you. See you again. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. <laughs>